This is a series uh, I photographed for the Times-Picayune in 1993 on the musicians of Louis Armstrong's generation who were still on the scene back then. Look at these faces, they just tell the story. And that became really my introduction to New Orleans jazz. Hi, my name's John McCusker. I'm a New Orleans native. I uh, grew up in Algiers. Listening to this music that spoke of this place, you know, it was, a, it was an artistic creation, New Orleans jazz, that came from the people and I started doing research, writing books, but I also branched off into 78 record collecting. And this is a 1927 recording of Louis Armstrong's Hot Five. And of course, if you're gonna collect 78s and old Edison cylinder recordings, you've gotta have something to play them on. Medley of American patriotic airs. If this was, uh, 1895, 1900, and you wanted to listen to a record, you'd go and buy your record at the record store, and inevitably it would be an Edison. And there is the record. That's one song. Watch the effect this creates. Now, the Victrola was an innovation. In 1917 alone, the Victor Company made half a million of this model alone. The phonograph was happening. That's when it was really taking off. All you have to do is you crank it up, get those motors under tension. And then we're gonna put a fresh needle in. With every play, you put a fresh needle. It's a 1923 recording of King Oliver's Creole Jazz Band. Now, if I want to turn it up, I just reach down to the cabinet door. And if your mom says, turn the music down, you just close the door. Got the horn. Let's see if this sucker's gonna work. I wanted to learn how to work on the machines themselves and how to fix them. And that's the spring that's under tension in there. This music playing device that was made before the US entered World War I is still perfectly functional with a minimum amount of maintenance. For the last 25 years, I've been running the city's uh, oldest jazz history tour. And I'm hoping now to, uh, at some point, open a gallery that will feature my photography of the New Orleans music scene, but also highlight the phonographs and jazz history. So stay tuned.